Today we're going to be doing the startup procedure on our 500 series pump. The 500 series pump is similar to the 560, 600, and 6000 series pump. Basically the same procedure. So today, this particular pump uses one quart of oil in the gearbox. There are other models that might take two, three, or even four quarts of oil. Oil is critical when it comes to these pumps. Um, you need to have that. You need to have so much oil in the pump for it to operate properly. When filling up the gearbox, you have your oil fill cap that's, that's in the back of the pump. You'll see the oil fill cap. Remove, and then you want to put in the oil into the the gearbox from the back. You want to be about a quarter to a half inch below the bottom fill thread hole. And basically you want to be above the piston that's in the pump. If you don't put enough oil in the pump, the pump will not work properly. Now there's already oil in this particular pump, but uh, again, using the correct amount of oil is critical. After we got our oil inside the gearbox, put our fill cap back on. Then we want to take our manual stroke setting, bring it counterclockwise, which reduces the amount of oil that's being bypassed inside the pump, or less flow. What's happening now is the oil is going from the gearbox in over the piston and into the diaphragm area. Now what happens when all that oil is being pushed up through over the, di over the piston is air. Air is no good to our pumps on either the oil or the liquid side. So to purge the air out, we have an Allen wrench here with the plug that's sitting right behind the diaphragm where the oil sits. What we'll do is we'll loosen up the plug, take your Allen wrench, go to the air purge plug, loosen it up, and again, any air that's in that diaphragm area is going to come out and through. As you can see, oil is coming up and through. Now this pump has already been purged of air, but as you can see there's oil coming up. You must see oil come up there without any air before startup of this particular pump or any of our hydraulic hydraulically actuated pumps. So obviously with no air being behind that diaphragm, you won't see any bubbles coming up through that hole. This plug is a tapered plug, so there's no need to put Teflon tape or anything like that to seal off the threads. So we're going to put this plug back in and tighten it down. Now we're going to purge the air from the liquid side of the pump. We've already done it from the oil, now we're going to do it from the liquid side. In order to do that, what we do is we have a supply here of liquid coming into your pump. We also have a calibration column with which we're going to measure our flow. But right now we have our valves closed off. So we can open up our cap. This is our discharge cap. Now we do it a couple turns and we go back to our supply, open up our valve, and we can go a little bit. We see that we're letting liquid out of the pump. Now this pump has already been purged of air. But to get the general idea of what you need to do when purging air from the liquid side of the pump. Now you'll see that I have a, a valve here. Now this valve is here, I like to show that if you're using corrosive chemicals, there's an easier way of priming your pump. As you see, we have a T here at our discharge. I place that there to show that there could be a better way of priming your air instead of over here, instead of getting chemical all over your pump, where if you have a corrosive chemical, you can place a T with a valve, your outlet on your valve 
coming back to your calibration column. As long as you have a flooded suction coming down into your pump, gravity feed takes on, takes over, you open up your valve, and you can purge any air that's in the pump just by force of gravity into the pump head. Next, you want to check the rotation of your motor. It needs to go in a counterclockwise rotation. Once you wire up your motor, the schematic is typically on your motor label. You bump it. When I mean bump, you just turn the pump on and off real quick to get your rotation. Now, you can't see in the camera frame, but it is going in the counterclockwise rotation. If it's not going in the right rotation, typically all you need to do is interchange two wires to change the rotation on your motor. And again, it should be on your label on how to do the wiring. Next, we want to start the pump. We start the motor up. We start the motor up on zero stroke, with, which is the the micrometer dial all the way out to zero counterclockwise. Now what we do is we typically let the pump run for five to ten minutes on that zero setting. Once you go through that time frame, we adjust the knob to a setting. And, and if you have a calibration column, and in this case we do, we're going to we're going to see the flow coming down in the pump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut my supply off, open up my calibration column, and now we're going to pump through the column. I'm going to go up to 30% stroke. One full rotation is 10% of the flow. Now we'll typically let that sit for five minutes. And as you see, we are starting to pump. Now this pump has already been broken in, but typically if you have a pump that's relatively quick or faster, it will start to pump. Now after that five minutes, we'll take it down to zero. All we're doing is just kind of getting that oil hot and getting it moving. And if there is any air back behind that diaphragm, even though we purged it, sometimes there could be air behind there still. We can kind of cycle it through. And then once we're back at zero, we move it up to 60%. And as you can see, we're pumping. And we'll generally let that run for another five minutes. Now, again, this pump is ready to go. So, we'll just take it back down to zero. And then we'll run it up to full flow, which is 100%. And now we have full flow. Now I'm going to put a little bit more fluid in here and just let it pump. Now this is a drawdown tube. You can do a test on it to make sure that the pump is pumping at full flow. But I like to let the pump run at 100% for, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Make sure that it's, everything is good to go. Um, and, that's, and that's basically how you would start up a 500 series, 600 series, 6000 series, and 560 series pump. PSG, where innovation flows.